What's up YouTube? We decided to take the Ford Fusion out to the track this weekend. I didn't plan on recording a video for all this, but the shakedown pass went really well. I reset my personal best. At the beginning of this video, you will see the pass the car makes, and then at the end of it, you will see the data log review going over what the car did, and what went wrong, and what went right, and how much is left in this car on the stock motor and stock transmission. Stick around, watch the end, and give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you like this type of content. Alright guys, I figured I'd do a, a little log here, um, review, and try to explain that that pass. Um, so there's a lot going on here. I'm, I'm sure some people are going to be like, yo, I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. Uh, but that's fine. You can drop a comment and we'll, we can talk about it. Um, so here I'm on the brake. You can see I'm on launch control right about here. It is building about 17... 17 degrees of timing and I'm floating around 23 2400 rpms on the launch and you will see the car start to move in just a second we're at 2500 we're building on the brake it normalizes boom we release the brake we are coming up we're coming up we're coming up now we're at full throttle starting at 14 degrees at 25 miles an hour still in first gear we are on 18 pounds of boost right here so we are climbing we're climbing we're climbing hit 6300 goes to shift and we get insufficient fuel as you can see um, right here it ran out a little bit of fuel didn't cause a throttle closure there but uh, it says we're at 12.3 AFR which is fine on on meth and ethanol so it goes to shift. I'm assuming this is now in second gear. It's getting ready to shift into third. Still saying insufficient fuel. And it was down on fuel quite a bit. Um, but it actually started taking 10% out. So even though it's saying insufficient fuel flow, the car is actually taking, what was that, 10, 12, 14% out. So now it's starting to get the methanol. And we start going back and we start normalizing. We're at 15.5 degrees of timing. We're at 54 miles an hour now. Injector duty cycle right here is quite low. We are climbing in third gear. This is the steep pull right here. Starts climbing. We're at 21 pounds of boost. And we are still in 21, 21 pounds. We're at 17 degrees of timing. And I'm sure we're working up. Oh, we're going down a little bit for the shift and boom it goes right back to insufficient fuel goes right back to normal we start building timing up again 17 degrees and we are riding fourth gear i mean we are running fourth gear out right here 
it's pulled out all my fuel it has plenty of fuel for 22.3 pounds of boost we are running we are running we're gonna keep going and then you're about to see something dramatically happen you can actually feel it in the car and hear it in the videos once it shifts into fifth what you're going to see right here is a significant throttle closure um, with no explanation as to really why it happened um, i'm going to try to explain this in in the best way as i can but so even though it's See now it's dropped down to 18 pounds, 18.4, 18.3, and this is three seconds of my time right here. This is three seconds of my time. We're not saying this is going to shave three seconds of my time. This is three seconds of the pass right here from 95 to 107 miles an hour. I'm fighting a throttle closure, and it's slowly coming back alive, but something's not happy. So there's a thing called turbo infrag. This is somewhere down here in the wastegate tables let's see right here so this is something to do with um, boost control and how much the turbo is flowing so it, right in here it's you know it, it's maxed its flow out which is fine it, we can take it up to about five but the wastegate tables only really pay attention in the 1.0 range uh, that's just the way we have it mapped and as soon as it goes to shift into fifth gear, what does it do? It plummets. It plummets really hard. It goes down to zero point, what is that, six eight? Yep, zero point six eight. And it is struggling to pick that exhaust flow back up. And um, the throttle stayed closed. So we have a little bit more work to do with the car. This is a five minute video that I wasn't ex expecting to do. I was going to go live. Uh, but this was a little bit easier to just go on and do without having a bunch of questions pop up so yeah it um another big thing about this is uh, we only rode fourth gear out to uh, 5831 uh, rpms so we could take that up to about 6500 but um like i said this was just a dial-in pass uh, actually just a a, uh, just say my second pass of the night on that new trans and just trying to get the feel for it on the track again and um, you know low boost well not going to say low boost this is moderate boost for me uh, when we start talking about 28 29 psi we start pushing the limits of the block um, so 17 and a half degrees of timing it's quite steep uh, we usually run the car in like 14 to 15 and a half degrees so it's definitely running really, really uh, uh, high on a uh, spark advance, but it did good. Motor didn't pop. Um, another thing I want to discuss is everybody always talks about uh, IAT temperatures uh, being a factor, and and you know saying that you know turbo cars you know need need cool air. So in my intake air temperature on the hit was starting around 115 117 degrees and didn't cool off until mid pass um, that has a lot to do with sitting in the burnout box look at after the burnout just sitting there got to 126 fahrenheit so people ask me why do i stage fast because i need it to cool down as fast as possible and get down that track there's i mean you can sit here and, and see even before the burnout i'm at 113 degrees air intake temperatures and um doesn't really matter once you start spraying methanol it'll it'll drop down um, it's really really not that big of a deal 104 degrees down to 100 it's probably I don't know not 97 it's probably what 80 something degrees out very humid day a little bit over 2000 um, density altitude so this is what we have uh, now we got the data that we've been looking for uh, on this transmission we just got to figure out that fourth to fifth year and we are rocking we are on our way to an 11 second pass on a stock motor stock trans two liter four cylinder